So I heard you are performing at Stagecoach for the first time coming up soon. How excited are you to prepare for that? I'm so pumped. I've been to Stagecoach a few times now. I've seen my dad play it. I've seen Noah play it. And so I'm so excited to get to play this year and in the Honky Tonk tent, which, you okay. know, Diplo himself curates. So right. high compliment that he wanted to be there this year. And it's going to be a really good time. And how have you taken some inspiration come from those legends at Stagecoach? Oh. How are you going to in, in, do it in your own show? Well, you know, for me, I think what, what what's fun about all this for me, right, is getting to blend all the different genres of music that I love. I grew up on country, obviously, and you know, now I'm so into this electronic world, and I play a lot of house music and EDM, so figuring out how to mix that with country, and not just new country, but some of the classics that I love, is where I thrive. And then you just talked about all those genres and how you kind of try to incorporate. So how would you elevate or pitch your music for people that are trying to discover you? Um, I would say if you love country uh, and you love pop music and you love electronic music, then I'm your girl. And if you don't, if you're like, oh, I don't know about one or the other, trust me, let me introduce you. Come to one of my shows and you're going to have a fucking good time. Sorry. Oh, no, you can say that because okay. now I got to come okay, to your show okay. and have that good you're of a time. Have a fucking good time. <laughs> <laughs> and then tell me, when was the first time you heard Miley and Beyonce on the track? With everybody else? You know, uh, yes, actually. They kept it really under wraps. I knew about it, but usually I know about her projects like a year or so in advance. And this one, like, I found out like two months before. I was like, wait a second, what? Why did you tell me this at the Grammys? When we like, sat what? right next we to her. We were literally right there. Literally. And she kept it under wraps. <laughs> oh, my God. That's amazing. And how do you feel about kind of how she's kind of jumped into the country game and, yeah. and inspired people to, do, to discover country music? Yeah, Beyonce? Yes. Beyonce. Yeah, I mean, I think it's incredible. You know, she said like that's her roots like she's a Texas girl and I think Beyonce can do whatever she wants you know she is like the queen um, so I love this for her to me like this feels very authentic Beyonce um, and I think it's really really cool like again I love blending genres so I think for someone like Beyonce to do it it's just gonna open it up for more people to listen and I think that's great for music in general you know oh, thank you so much man I'm so excited for you and congratulations on everything thank you so much